English learners often encounter common mistakes as they navigate the complexities of the language. Here are some prevalent errors and tips on how to avoid them. Misplaced or dangling modifiers. Common mistake. Running to catch the train. My hat fell off. Correction. While I was running to catch the train, my hat fell off. Ensure that modifiers are correctly placed to clearly convey the intended meaning. Subject verb agreement. Common mistake. The team are playing well. Correction. The team is playing well. Ensure that the subject and verb agree in number, singular or plural. Using incorrect prepositions. Common mistake. I am good in cooking. Correction. I am good at cooking. Pay attention to the correct prepositions to use in various contexts. Confusing similar words. Common mistake. They're going to the party too. Correction. They're going to the party too. Be mindful of homophones and ensure you use the right word, e.g. there slash there slash there. Incorrect word order. Common mistake. She asked me where was my bag. Correction. She asked me where my bag was. Maintain proper word order in questions and statements. Using double negatives. Common mistake. I don't need no help. Correction. I don't need any help. Or, I need no help. Avoid using double negatives as they can create confusion. Missing articles A and the. Common mistake. I have dog. Correction. I have a dog. Ensure proper usage of articles to specify nouns. Overusing certain words. Common mistake. I like pizza. Pizza is my favorite. I eat pizza every day. Correction. I like pizza. It's my favorite, and I enjoy it often. Vary your vocabulary to make your speech or writing more engaging. Neglecting pronunciation. Common mistake. Mispronouncing words due to not paying attention to pronunciation patterns. Correction. Use pronunciation guides, listen to native speakers, and practice. Pay attention to pronunciation rules and practice regularly to improve clarity. Lack of verb tense consistency. Common mistake. Yesterday, I eat lunch. Today, I will eat dinner. Correction. Yesterday, I ate lunch. Today, I will eat dinner. Maintain consistency in verb tenses within a sentence or paragraph. Using good versus well. Common mistake. I'm doing good. Correction. I'm doing well. Use good when describing a noun and well when describing an action. In this case, well is the correct choice because it describes how you are doing an action. Confusing fewer and less. Common mistake. I have less books than you. Correction. I have fewer books than you. Use fewer when referring to countable items, individual items you can count, and use less when referring to uncountable items or quantities. Incorrect use of much and many. Common mistake. I don't have much friends. Correction. I don't have many friends. Use much for uncountable nouns like water and many for countable nouns like friends. Subject verb agreement with indefinite pronouns. Common mistake. Everybody are welcome. Correction. Everybody is welcome. Indefinite pronouns, everybody, nobody, someone, anyone, are treated as singular, so the verb should be singular as well. Incorrect use of effect and effect. Common mistake. The new policy will not have any effect on our team. Correction. The new policy will not have any effect on our team. Effect is usually a verb, and effect 
is usually a noun. In this case, effect is the correct choice. Misusing I and me in a sentence. Common mistake. They invited Sarah and I to the party. Correction. They invited Sarah and me to the party. Use I when you are the subject of the sentence and me when you are the object. In this case, me is the correct choice. Confusing your and your. Common mistake. You're going to love this movie. Correction. You're going to love this movie. Your indicates possession, while your is a contraction for you are. Ensure you're using the correct form based on the intended meaning. Incorrect use of double comparatives. Common mistake. This is more better than the last one. Correction. This is better than the last one. Avoid using double comparatives more plus adjective as it is redundant. Stick to using the comparative form of the adjective alone. Misplacing apostrophes. Common mistake. The cats are playful. Correction. The cats are playful. Apostrophes are used for possession or contractions, not to pluralize nouns. In this case, cats is a plural noun, so no apostrophe is needed. Overusing very or really. Common mistake. I am very happy. Correction. I am happy. Instead of relying on very or really to intensify an adjective. Choose stronger, more specific adjectives for clearer communication. Misusing who and whom. Common mistake. To who should I address the letter? Correction. To whom should I address the letter? Use who as the subject and whom as the object in a sentence. In this case, whom is the correct choice because it functions as the object of the preposition to. Confusing lose and loose. Common mistake. I don't want to lose my keys. Correction. I don't want to lose my keys. Lose is a verb meaning to misplace, while loose is an adjective, meaning not tight. Ensure you use the correct spelling based on the context. Using then instead of then. Common mistake. She is taller than her sister. Correction. She is taller than her sister. Use then when making comparisons. Then is. Used to indicate time or sequence. Incorrect use of there, there, and there. Common mistake. They're going to the park. Correction. They're going to the park. There indicates a place. There shows possession. And there is a contraction for they are. Using bring and take incorrectly. Common mistake. Can you bring me to the airport? Correction. Can you take me to the airport? Use bring when something is coming toward you and take when something is going away from you. Confusing farther and further. Common mistake. I need to study farther for the exam. Correction. I need to study further for the exam. Farther typically refers to physical distance, while further often relates to figurative or metaphorical distance or extent. Neglecting pronoun case. Common mistake. Him and me are best friends. Correction. He and I are best friends. Use the correct pronoun case, subjective or objective, based on the role within the sentence. Overusing like instead of such as. Common mistake. I enjoy outdoor activities like hiking and camping. Correction. I enjoy outdoor activities such as hiking and camping. Use like to indicate similarity and such as to provide examples. Misplacing commas in compound sentences. Common mistake. I love hiking. It helps me relax. Correction. I love hiking because it helps me relax. 
Ensure you use commas correctly in compound sentences or consider. Using coordinating conjunctions like and, but, or because. Misusing in and on with time expressions. Common mistake. I will meet you on Monday. Correction. I will meet you on Monday. Use on with specific days, Monday, Tuesday, and in with more. General time expressions in the morning in the summer. Using good instead of well as an adverb. Common mistake. She plays the piano good. Correction. She plays the piano well. Use well when describing how someone performs an action. Good is an adjective and well is the corresponding adverb. Confusing into and into. Common mistake. She walked into the room and to find her keys. Correction. She walked into the room to find her keys. Into indicates movement toward the inside of a place, while into is a preposition followed by an infinitive verb. Using so and very incorrectly. Common mistake. She is so very happy. Correction. She is very happy. Avoid using so and very together. They serve a similar purpose. In intensifying adjectives. Confusing bring and take in phrasal verbs. Common mistake. Can you bring up the topic during the meeting? Correction. Can you bring up the topic during the meeting? In phrasal verbs like bring up, the choice between bring and take depends on the speaker's perspective. If the speaker is at the destination, use bring. Incorrect use of regardless and irregardless. Common mistake. I will do it regardless of the challenges, irregardless. Correction. I will do it regardless of the challenges. Irregardless is considered non-standard. Use regardless instead. Misusing who and whose. Common mistake. The person whose bag was lost has been found. Correction. The person whose bag was lost has been found. Use who when referring to people and whose to indicate possession. Overusing thing or stuff. Common mistake. I bought a thing at the store. Correction. I bought an item at the store. Instead of using vague terms like thing or stuff, try to specify the object or concept. Confusing quiet and quite. Common mistake. It's quiet in the library. Correction. It's quiet in the library. Quiet describes a lack of noise, while quiet means to a considerable extent or degree. Using like instead of as in comparisons. Common mistake. She runs fast like a cheetah. Correction. She runs as fast as a cheetah. Use as when making comparisons to indicate similarity. Misusing amount and number. Common mistake. There is a large amount of people at the event. Correction. There is a large number of people at the event. Use amount for uncountable nouns and number for countable nouns. Incorrect use of who and whom in questions. Common mistake. Whom is coming to the party? Correction. Who is coming to the party? In informal contexts, who is often used for both subject and object, but traditionally whom is used for the object. Confusing used to and used to. Common mistake. I used to live in New York. Correction. I used to live in New York. Used to is the correct form when expressing a past habit or action that no longer happens. Misplacing only in sentences. Common mistake. She only eats vegetables. Correction. She eats only vegetables. The placement of only can affect the meaning of a sentence. 
so position it carefully to convey the intended message. Using less instead of fewer with countable nouns. Common mistake. I have less books than she does. Correction. I have fewer books than she does. Use fewer when referring to countable items to indicate a smaller number. Confusing its and its. Common mistake. The cat licked its paws. Correction. The cat licked its paws. Its is a possessive pronoun, while its is a contraction for it is or it has. Overusing passive voice. Common mistake. The cake was eaten by Mary. Correction. Mary ate the cake. While passive voice is grammatically correct, using it too often can make writing less direct. Try to prefer active voice for clearer communication. Incorrect use of between and among. Common mistake. The gift is between the three of us. Correction. The gift is among the three of us. Use between for two items and among for more than two items. Misplacing almost in sentences. Common mistake. I almost go to the gym every day. Correction. I go to the gym almost every day. Place almost before the verb to convey that the action is nearly happening as expected. Confusing farther and further in. Distance and degree. Common mistake. The mountain is further than the lake. Correction. The mountain is farther than the lake. Use farther for physical distance and further for degree or extent. I can certainly provide a variety of shorter dialogues covering different aspects of a daily conversation. Good morning, Anna. How did you sleep? Morning, Mark. I slept well, thanks. Ready for the day? Good morning, Anna. How did you sleep? Morning, Mark. I slept well, thanks. Ready for the day? Definitely. I was thinking of taking a morning walk. Want to join? Sounds great. A brisk walk will wake me up. Definitely. I was thinking of taking a morning walk. Want to join? Sounds great. A brisk walk will wake me up. How's your morning class going? It's okay. The math lecture was a bit challenging. How about yours? How's your morning class going? It's okay. The math lecture was a bit challenging. How about yours? English was interesting. Hey, have you decided on a topic for the science project? Not yet. Any suggestions? English was interesting. Hey, have you decided on a topic for the science project? Not yet. Any suggestions? How about something related to renewable energy? Perfect. Let's do that. How about something related to renewable energy? Perfect. Let's do that. The cafeteria has some new options today. What are you in the mood for? I could go for a sandwich and let's grab a table by the window. The cafeteria has some new options today. 
What are you in the mood for? I could go for a sandwich and let's grab a table by the window. Thinking of hitting the gym after classes. You interested? Absolutely. I need a good workout. Meet you there around four? Thinking of hitting the gym after classes. You interested? Absolutely. I need a good workout. Meet you there around four? Works for me. Cardio and weights? Sounds like a plan. Works for me. Cardio and weights? Sounds like a plan. Post gym. Want to catch a movie or do something else? Sure. A movie sounds good. There's that new comedy everyone's talking about. Post gym. Want to catch a movie or do something else? Sure. A movie sounds good. There's that new comedy everyone's talking about. Italian for dinner? Sounds good. Pasta and pizza? Italian for dinner? Sounds good. Pasta and pizza? Exactly. Let's head to that new Italian place downtown. Agreed. It's a date. Exactly. Let's head to that new Italian place downtown. Agreed. It's a date. of shorter dialogues covering different aspects of a birthday celebration. Guess what, everyone? It's Alex's birthday next week. That's exciting. We should plan a surprise party. I'll take care of decorations. Any theme suggestions? How about a movie night theme? Alex loves films. Great idea. I'll handle the invitations. What do you think Alex would like as a birthday gift? Maybe a book? Alex loves reading. I heard Alex mention wanting a new gadget. Let's pool in for that. A personalized gift could be special. Any thoughts? How about a custom-made photo album with memories? We need a venue for the party. Any suggestions? We can host it at my place. I have enough space. A rooftop garden could be fantastic if the weather is good. What about renting a cozy cafe? They often accommodate private events. I'll check the availability and pricing for the cafe option. I. Who should we invite to the party? Close friends family, and some colleagues, perhaps? I'll create a guest list and send out digital invitations. Let's make sure to ask about any dietary restrictions for catering. Also, we need to plan some fun activities. Any suggestions? The movie night theme is set. I found some great decorations. Balloons, streamers, 
and a red carpet entrance. Perfect. We could set up a popcorn and candy bar for snacks. W. I'll handle the music playlist. What's Alex's favorite genre? Alex loves indie music. Let's curate a playlist with indie hits. Do we want the party to be a complete surprise? How about a semi-surprise? We can let Alex in on some details. H. Maybe a pre-party gathering with close friends? That way, we can ensure Alex is dressed appropriately. I'll coordinate the semi-surprise part. Let's keep it under wraps. The cake is a crucial part. Any flavor preferences? I heard Alex likes chocolate. How about a chocolate ganache cake? I can order cupcakes with personalized toppers. A dessert table with a variety of treats could be a hit. Gluten-free and vegan options should be considered for all guests. Today's the day. Are we all set? The venue is ready and decorations are up. Let's coordinate the surprise. Is everyone in position? I'll keep Alex engaged until everyone is ready. I Remember to capture the moment when Alex walks in. Should we plan some games or activities? How about a movie trivia game? I can set up a photo booth with props. We could also organize a mini talent show. Let's keep it lively and engaging throughout the evening. What an incredible night. Thank you all for making Alex's birthday so special. Thanks to everyone for being here. Until the next celebration, good night. We are going to show you office scenario in which the team is working. Alex, Brian, Tom, Laura, Taylor, Mark, Emily, and Sarah. Good morning, everyone. Ready for a productive day. Morning, Alex. I could use an extra shot of coffee today. Anyone else feel like Mondays need a fast forward button? Morning team. How was your weekend? Not bad, Emily. Caught up on some much needed sleep. Team, let's huddle up. Any roadblocks on the current projects? Not bad, Emily. Caught up on some much-needed sleep. Sarah, I need your input on the client proposal. Can we chat after the meeting? The new project timeline is tight, but I think we can meet the deadline. Great to hear, Mark. Let's ensure everyone is on the same page. Laura. Can you handle the client call scheduled for this afternoon? Sure, Tom. I'll prepare the agenda and updates. Emily, the social media content needs a revamp. Interested? Absolutely, 
Alex. I have some fresh ideas in mind. The quarterly review meeting is tomorrow. Are we all set? Let's do a quick run through this afternoon. Brian, you handle the financials. Emily, your market analysis is crucial for the presentation. Can you finalize it? Who's up for a quick lunch outside? I'm in. Sushi or salad? Count me in for sushi. Need a break from the office. I'll join, but can we make it a working lunch? Coffee run, anyone? I'll take a black coffee, thanks. A latte for me, please. I'm good, but grab me a cookie if they have any. Team, let's have a constructive feedback session. What's working well, and what can we improve? I appreciate the collaboration, but communication could be smoother. Agreed, Tom. Let's implement a weekly check-in for updates. I found a fun team building exercise for Friday. What do you think? Sounds good. As long as it's not trust falls again. Maybe a trivia night? It's engaging and fosters healthy competition. The budget got approved, but we need to cut costs. Any suggestions? What if we renegotiate some vendor contracts? I'll reach out to suppliers and explore cost-saving options. Team, let's acknowledge Emily for landing that major client. Well done. Team, cheers, Emily. Well deserved. A little celebration at the end of the week. Pizza, perhaps. Have you all seen the new office decorations? It gives the place a fresh vibe. I heard they're organizing a skill-sharing session next month. Anyone interested? Definitely. I can share some tips on effective time management. The office picnic is next Saturday. Who's bringing what? I'll handle the drinks. Taylor, can you coordinate the games? Sure thing, Alice. Let's make it a memorable day for everyone. Quick announcement, team. We're implementing a new project management tool. Training sessions start next week. Thanks for the heads up, Emily. I'll make sure to attend. Any changes to the vacation policy? I'm planning a trip next month. I heard they're revising it. Let's check with HR for the latest updates. Team, I know the workload has been heavy, but your efforts haven't gone unnoticed. Let's push through this together. Tom, agreed, Sarah. We've faced challenges before, and we always come out stronger. Cultural Context, Exam Preparation and Business English Technology and Language Learning and many more Who is your role model? My role model is my grandmother. She has always inspired me with her wisdom and kindness. 
Who is your favorite author? My favorite author is J.K. Rowling. Who is your best friend, and how did you meet? My best friend is Sarah, and we met in college during our freshman year. Who motivates you to achieve your goals? My parents are my biggest motivators. They always encourage me to reach for my dreams. Who is the most interesting person you've ever met? The most interesting person I've ever met is a travel journalist I encountered during a backpacking trip. Who is your favorite family member? My favorite family member is my younger sister. We share a close bond. Who is your favorite teacher, and why? My favorite teacher is Mr. Johnson. He made learning fun and inspired a love for literature. Who is the most influential person in your life? The most influential person in my life is my older brother. He always leads by example. Who was your childhood hero? My childhood hero was a fictional character, Batman, for his dedication to justice. Who is the most supportive person during challenging times? My best friend is the most supportive person during challenging times. We always have each other's backs. Who is your mentor at work? My mentor at work is Sarah. She has been guiding me in my career development. Who is the CEO of your company? The CEO of our company is Mr. Robert Anderson. Who do you collaborate with most frequently on projects? I collaborate most frequently with the marketing team on various projects. Who is the most skilled colleague you've worked with? The most skilled colleague I've worked with is Alex. Their attention to detail is exceptional. Who inspired you to pursue your current career? My college professor inspired me to pursue a career in environmental science. Who is your significant other, and how did you meet? My significant other is Tom, and we met at a mutual friend's birthday party. Who is the most important person in your life? The most important person in my life is my partner. We share a deep emotional connection. Who do you turn to for relationship advice? I turn to my older sister for relationship advice. She has valuable insights. Who is your favorite person to spend time with? My favorite person to spend time with is my spouse. We always have a great time together. Who in your family is the best cook? My mom is the best cook in our family. Her meals are always delicious. Who is your favorite celebrity, and why? My favorite celebrity is Emma Watson for her advocacy work and talent. Who is the most famous person you've ever met? The most famous person I've ever met is a musician I encountered at a concert. Who would you want to have dinner with, dead or alive? I would love to have dinner with Nelson Mandela for his wisdom and leadership. Who is your go-to person for fashion advice? My best friend is my go-to person for fashion advice. They have a great sense of style. Who is your favorite character from a TV show or movie? 
My favorite character is Sherlock Holmes. I admire his deductive reasoning skills. Who is your favorite artist or musician? My favorite artist is Vincent Van Gogh for his unique and expressive style. Who is your favorite historical figure? My favorite historical figure is Marie Curie for her groundbreaking contributions to science. Who is your favorite author from your country? My favorite local author is Local Author. Their storytelling captures the essence of our culture. Who is your favorite character from mythology? My favorite mythological character is Athena for her wisdom and strategic mind. Who is your favorite philosopher, and why? My favorite philosopher is Socrates. His method of questioning and seeking truth resonates with me. Who is your favorite athlete or sports personality? My favorite athlete is Serena Williams for her excellence in tennis. Who is your favorite comedian? My favorite comedian is John Mulaney. His humor is witty and relatable. Who is your favorite video game character? My favorite video game character is Lara Croft from the Tomb Raider series. Who is your favorite travel companion? My best friend is my favorite travel companion. We always have memorable adventures together. Who is your favorite actor or actress? My favorite actor is Leonardo DiCaprio. He delivers exceptional performances. Who do you aspire to be like in the future? I aspire to be a combination of my parents' resilience and my mentor's leadership. Who is your role model for personal development? My role model for personal development is personal development author. Their books have been transformative. Who do you want to emulate in your career? I want to emulate the success and innovation of Elon Musk in my career. Who is your inspiration for giving back to the community? My inspiration for giving back is Bill Gates. His philanthropy has a significant impact. Who would you want to collaborate with professionally in the future? I would love to collaborate with industry expert. Their expertise aligns with my career goals. Who is your favorite animated character? My favorite animated character is Simba from The Lion King. Who is your favorite superhero? My favorite superhero is Wonder Woman for her strength and compassion. Who is your favorite fictional detective? My favorite fictional detective is Hercule Poirot. Who is the most adventurous person you know? The most adventurous person I know is my cousin. They are always seeking new experiences. Where do you like to go for brunch on the weekends? I like to go to a quaint cafe downtown for a delicious brunch on the weekends. Where is your favorite place to get ice cream or gelato? My favorite place to get ice cream is the local artisanal gelato shop. Where do you go for the best pizza in town? The best pizza in town, in my opinion, is at a family-owned pizzeria on Main Street. Where can you find the most authentic local cuisine? The most authentic local cuisine can be found at the hole-in-the-wall restaurants in the old town. 
Where do you go for a fancy dinner to celebrate special occasions? For a fancy dinner to celebrate special occasions, I go to the upscale steakhouse downtown. Where is your favorite place to work remotely? My favorite place to work remotely is at a co-working space with a vibrant atmosphere. Where do you find the best work-life balance? I find the best work-life balance when working from home, allowing flexibility in my schedule. Where would you prefer to attend a professional development conference? I would prefer to attend a professional development conference in a lively city with networking opportunities. Where do you think is the best location for a company retreat? The best location for a company retreat is a peaceful resort with team building activities. Where is your ideal location for a business meeting? My ideal location for a business meeting is a quiet and sophisticated boardroom. Where do you usually buy your tech gadgets and electronics? I usually buy my tech gadgets and electronics from reputable online retailers. Where is the best place to find the latest tech innovations? The best place to find the latest tech innovations is at technology expos and conferences. Where do you go for tech support and troubleshooting? I go to the official customer support website or contact the device manufacturer for tech support. Where is your favorite spot to use your laptop or work on your computer? My favorite spot to use my laptop is at a cozy corner desk in my home office. Where do you like to go for free Wi-Fi and a change of scenery? I like to go to a local coffee shop for free Wi-Fi and a change of scenery. Where do you usually meet new people and expand your social circle? I usually meet new people and expand my social circle at networking events and meetups. Where is your favorite venue for social gatherings and celebrations? My favorite venue for social gatherings and celebrations is a rooftop terrace with city views. Where would you go for a fun group activity with friends? For a fun group activity with friends, I would go to the local escape room or bowling alley. Where is the best place to host a family reunion? The best place to host a family reunion is at a spacious vacation rental in the countryside. Where do you go for community events and volunteering opportunities? I go to the community center for information on local events and volunteering opportunities. Where do you like to go for your regular workout sessions? I like to go to the neighborhood gym for my regular workout sessions. Where is your favorite spot for outdoor meditation and relaxation? My favorite spot for outdoor meditation is the Tranquil Botanical Garden. Where do you go for health and wellness retreats? I go to a wellness retreat in the mountains for a rejuvenating experience. Where is your preferred location for a spa day or massage? My preferred location for a spa day or massage is at a luxury spa resort. Where do you usually go for a refreshing hike or nature walk? I usually go to the National Park for a refreshing hike or nature walk. Where is your favorite place to relax and unwind? My favorite place to relax and unwind is by the beach, listening to the sound of the waves. Where do you usually go for a weekend getaway? I often go to the mountains for a weekend getaway to enjoy nature and hiking trails. 
Where is the best restaurant you've ever dined at? The best restaurant I've ever dined at is a cozy Italian place downtown called La Trattoria. Where would you love to travel if you could go anywhere in the world? If I could go anywhere in the world, I would love to travel to Kyoto, Japan, to experience its rich culture. Where is your favorite spot in your hometown? My favorite spot in my hometown is the local botanical garden, it's a peaceful oasis. Where is your dream vacation destination, and why? My dream vacation destination is the Maldives because of its stunning beaches and overwater bungalows. Where was the last place you visited on a holiday? The last place I visited on holiday was Barcelona, Spain, the architecture and culture were captivating. Where do you usually stay when traveling, hotels, Airbnb, or hostels? I prefer staying in Airbnb accommodations for a more local and personalized experience. Where do you think is the best location for a road trip? The best location for a road trip, in my opinion, is the Pacific Coast Highway in California. Where would you recommend for a family-friendly vacation? I would recommend Disneyland in Orlando, Florida, for a fun and family-friendly vacation. Where do you like to shop for clothes and accessories? I like to shop at a mix of high-end stores and thrift shops, depending on the occasion. Where do you prefer to do your grocery shopping? I prefer doing my grocery shopping at the local farmer's market for fresh produce and organic options. Where is your favorite place to work or study? My favorite place to work or study is a quiet coffee shop with a cozy ambience. Where do you go for a good cup of coffee or tea? I go to a small independent coffee shop downtown for a good cup of coffee. Where is the best place to find unique and handmade items? The best place to find unique and handmade items is at local craft markets. Where is your favorite venue for live music performances? My favorite venue for live music performances is the Historic Theater downtown. Where do you usually watch movies, at home or in a cinema? I prefer watching movies at home for the comfort but occasionally enjoy the cinema experience. Where is your go-to place for a night out with friends? My go-to place for a night out with friends is a trendy rooftop bar with a great view of the city. Where would you go for a fun and adventurous day with family? For a fun and adventurous day with family, I would go to the local amusement park. Where do you like to go for cultural events and exhibitions? I like to go to the art museum for cultural events and exhibitions. Where is your favorite hiking trail or nature reserve? My favorite hiking trail is in the national park nearby, the views are breathtaking. Where do you enjoy spending time in nature? I enjoy spending time in nature at the lakeside, surrounded by trees and wildlife. Where is the best place for a camping trip? The best place for a camping trip is in the mountains, away from city lights. Where is your favorite beach destination for a summer vacation? My favorite beach destination is Maui, Hawaii, for its beautiful beaches and tropical vibe. Where do you go for a peaceful and quiet retreat? I go to a secluded cabin in the woods for a peaceful and quiet retreat. 
What is your favorite movie of all time? My all-time favorite movie is The Shawshank Redemption. What do you like to do in your free time? In my free time, I enjoy reading, hiking, and spending time with friends. What is the capital of Japan? The capital of Japan is Tokyo. What kind of music do you listen to? I listen to a variety of music genres, but my favorite is indie rock. What is your go-to comfort food? My go-to comfort food is a bowl of homemade chicken noodle soup. What do you look for in a good book? I look for an engaging plot, well-developed characters, and thought-provoking themes in a good book. What motivates you to stay productive at work? Setting clear goals and having a sense of accomplishment motivates me to stay productive at work. What is your dream travel destination? My dream travel destination is Santorini, Greece. What skills do you think are essential for success in your career? In my career, communication, problem-solving, and adaptability are essential skills for success. What is your favorite childhood memory? One of my favorite childhood memories is going on family road trips during summer vacations. What inspires you to be creative? Nature, art, and different cultures inspire me to be creative. What is your preferred way of staying fit? I prefer staying fit through a combination of jogging, yoga, and strength training. What do you value most in a friendship? I value trust, loyalty, and open communication in a friendship. What is your favorite season and why? My favorite season is autumn because of the beautiful foliage and cool weather. What was the last book you read, and what did you think of it? The last book I read was The Silent Patient, and I found it to be a gripping psychological thriller. What do you enjoy most about your job? I enjoy the opportunity to solve challenging problems and collaborate with diverse teams in my job. What hobbies do you pursue to relax? To relax, I enjoy painting, gardening, and playing the piano. What is your favorite type of cuisine? My favorite type of cuisine is Italian, I love pasta and pizza. What are your long-term goals for the next five years? My long-term goals include advancing in my career, traveling more, and achieving a healthy work-life balance. What advice would you give to your younger self? I would advise my younger self to embrace challenges, be resilient, and prioritize self-care. What is the most challenging aspect of your job? The most challenging aspect of my job is managing tight deadlines and multitasking. What do you think is the key to a successful relationship? Communication, trust, and mutual respect are key to a successful relationship. What do you enjoy about learning new things? I enjoy the sense of accomplishment and the opportunity for personal growth that comes with learning new things. What is your favorite way to spend a lazy Sunday? Spending a lazy Sunday curled up with a good book or watching movies is my favorite way to relax. What personal achievement are you most proud of? I am most proud of completing a marathon, a goal I worked hard to achieve. When do you practice mindfulness or meditation? 
I practice mindfulness and meditation every morning before starting my day. When did you adopt your current fitness routine? I adopted my current fitness routine about a year ago when I decided to prioritize my health. When is your favorite time to read a good book? My favorite time to read a good book is before bedtime. When do you like to indulge in a guilty pleasure? I like to indulge in a guilty pleasure on lazy Sunday afternoons. When did you decide to make a significant lifestyle change? I decided to make a significant lifestyle change at the beginning of the new year. When do you usually host social gatherings at your home? I usually host social gatherings during the summer when we can enjoy the backyard. When was the last time you attended a live concert? I attended a live concert last month featuring my favorite band. When do you feel most comfortable in social settings? I feel most comfortable in social settings when I'm surrounded by close friends. When is the best time for a surprise party? The best time for a surprise party is during a milestone birthday celebration. When do you typically attend community events? I attend community events during weekends when I have more free time. When did you start prioritizing your mental health? I started prioritizing my mental health during a particularly stressful period at work. When do you find it easiest to stick to a healthy diet? I find it easiest to stick to a healthy diet during weekdays when I have a routine. When do you prefer to exercise morning or evening? I prefer to exercise in the morning to kickstart my day with energy. When did you realize the importance of a good night's sleep? I realized the importance of a good night's sleep during a health and wellness seminar last year. When do you seek medical advice for minor health concerns? I seek medical advice for minor health concerns as soon as they arise to address them promptly. When did you last upgrade your smartphone? I last upgraded my smartphone six months ago when my contract renewed. When do you usually binge watch your favorite TV shows? I usually binge watch TV shows on weekends when I have more leisure time. When did you join your favorite social media platform? I joined my favorite social media platform seven years ago. When do you think is the best time to release a new movie? The best time to release a new movie, in my opinion, is during the summer blockbuster season. When do you discover and listen to new music? I discover and listen to new music while commuting to work or exercising. When do you plan to achieve your next educational milestone? I plan to achieve my next educational milestone within the next two years. When do you anticipate reaching your career goals? I anticipate reaching my career goals in the next five to seven years. When do you plan to make a major life decision? I plan to make a major life decision within the next year. When do you see yourself retiring? I see myself retiring in my early 60s, allowing time for travel and relaxation. When will you start pursuing your passion project? 
I will start pursuing my passion project as soon as I have the necessary resources and time. Why do you enjoy your favorite hobby? I enjoy painting because it allows me to express my creativity and relax. Why is your best friend special to you? My best friend is special to me because they've always been there for me through thick and thin. Why do you appreciate spending time in nature? I appreciate spending time in nature because it helps me reconnect with myself and find peace. Why do you value punctuality? I value punctuality because it shows respect for other people's time and enhances efficiency. Why do you believe laughter is important? I believe laughter is important because it brings joy, reduces stress, and strengthens social bonds. Why did you choose your current profession? I chose my current profession because it aligns with my passion for helping others and making a positive impact. Why is your family important to you? My family is important to me because they provide love, support, and a sense of belonging. Why do you have a particular morning routine? I have a morning routine to set a positive tone for the day and prioritize self-care. Why do you pursue continuous learning? I pursue continuous learning to stay updated, grow personally and professionally, and adapt to new challenges. Why do you set personal goals? I set personal goals to provide direction, motivation, and a sense of achievement in my life. Why is communication crucial in a relationship? Communication is crucial in a relationship because it fosters understanding, trust, and emotional connection. Why do you think compromise is important in a partnership? Compromise is important in a partnership to find common ground, maintain harmony, and strengthen the relationship. Why do you express gratitude in your relationships? Expressing gratitude in relationships fosters appreciation, reinforces positive behavior, and strengthens the bond. Why is it important to respect each other's boundaries? Respecting each other's boundaries is essential for maintaining trust, fostering autonomy, and ensuring mutual comfort. Why do you prioritize quality time with loved ones? Prioritizing quality time with loved ones creates lasting memories, strengthens connections, and nurtures relationships. Why did you choose your career path? I chose my career path because it aligns with my skills, interests, and the positive impact I want to make in the world. Why do you believe in the mission of your company? I believe in the mission of my company because it addresses important societal issues, and I want to contribute to positive change. Why is collaboration important in the workplace? Collaboration is important in the workplace to leverage diverse skills, foster creativity, and achieve common goals. Why do you seek continuous improvement at work? Seeking continuous improvement at work ensures efficiency, innovation, and personal and professional growth. Why is a positive work culture important to you? A positive work culture is important to me because it promotes job satisfaction, teamwork, and overall well-being. Why do you prioritize a healthy lifestyle? 
Prioritizing a healthy lifestyle is crucial for physical and mental well-being, energy, and long-term health. Why do you practice mindfulness or meditation? I practice mindfulness or meditation to reduce stress, enhance focus, and cultivate a sense of inner calm. Why do you have a specific morning routine? A specific morning routine helps me start the day with intention, organization, and a positive mindset. Why do you enjoy trying new things? Trying new things provides fresh experiences, fosters personal growth, and keeps life exciting and dynamic. Why do you value a balanced diet? Valuing a balanced diet is essential for overall health, energy levels, and maintaining a healthy weight. Why do you attend networking events? Attending networking events helps me expand my professional circle, gain insights, and discover collaboration opportunities. Why do you celebrate milestones with friends? Celebrating milestones with friends acknowledges achievements, strengthens bonds, and creates cherished memories. Why is it important to surround yourself with positive people? Surrounding yourself with positive people uplifts your mood, influences your mindset, and fosters a supportive environment. Why do you engage in community activities? Engaging in community activities allows me to contribute to local causes, connect with neighbors, and make a positive impact. Why is it valuable to maintain long-term friendships? Maintaining long-term friendships provides a sense of continuity, shared history, and emotional support throughout life. Why do you enjoy a particular genre of music? I enjoy a particular genre of music because it resonates with my emotions, preferences, and personal experiences. Why do you prefer certain genres in movies or books? Preferring certain genres in movies or books reflects my interests, imagination, and the themes that resonate with me. Why do you follow specific influencers on social media? Following specific influencers on social media provides inspiration, valuable content, and insights in areas of interest. Why do you believe in the power of storytelling? The power of storytelling connects people, evokes emotions, and facilitates the sharing of experiences and perspectives. Why do you stay updated on the latest technology trends? Staying updated on technology trends helps me adapt to new tools, stay competitive, and embrace innovations in my field. Why do you have long-term goals? Having long-term goals provides direction, motivation, and a framework for planning future achievements. Why do you think it's important to have a financial plan? Having a financial plan ensures financial security, enables goal achievement, and prepares for unforeseen circumstances. Why do you set short-term objectives? Setting short-term objectives keeps me focused, motivated, and allows for continuous progress toward larger goals. Why do you believe in the importance of education? Education is crucial for personal growth, expanding perspectives, and providing the tools for a successful and fulfilling life. 
Why do you have a specific career development plan? A career development plan helps me navigate my professional journey, set milestones, and achieve personal and career objectives. Why do you enjoy a particular type of cuisine? Enjoying a particular type of cuisine reflects my cultural background, taste preferences, and culinary experiences. Why do you support a particular charitable cause? Supporting a charitable cause aligns with my values, allows me to contribute to positive change, and make a difference. Why do you find a particular historical period fascinating? Finding a particular historical period fascinating may be influenced by its cultural, social, or political significance. Why do you have a favorite color? Having a favorite color might be based on personal preferences, associations, or positive experiences related to that color. Why do you think maintaining a positive mindset is important? Maintaining a positive mindset promotes resilience, problem-solving, and overall well-being in the face of challenges. Why do you believe in the power of collaboration? Believing in the power of collaboration stems from the acknowledgement that diverse perspectives and skills enhance creativity and problem-solving. Why do you value experiences over material possessions? Valuing experiences over material possessions is rooted in the belief that memories and personal growth bring more lasting satisfaction. Why do you find a particular cultural tradition meaningful? Finding a cultural tradition meaningful may be tied to family heritage, values, or the significance of the tradition in one's life. Why do you enjoy a specific type of exercise? Enjoying a specific type of exercise may be influenced by personal preferences, health goals, or the joy derived from that activity. Why do you believe in the importance of lifelong learning? Believing in the importance of lifelong learning recognizes that continuous learning enhances personal development, adaptability, and innovation. Which app do you use most frequently on your phone? I use the messaging app most frequently on my phone. Which brand of laptop do you find most reliable? I find the MacBook brand to be the most reliable for laptops. Which social media feature do you use the most, stories, posts, or live videos? I use stories on social media the most for quick updates. Which software tool is essential for your daily work tasks? Microsoft Excel is essential for my daily work tasks. Which tech gadget can you not live without? I cannot live without my smartphone, it's an essential part of my daily life. Which quality do you value most in a friend? Loyalty is the quality I value most in a friend. Which family tradition is the most meaningful to you? Celebrating holidays together as a family is the most meaningful tradition to me. Which type of social gathering do you enjoy the most? I enjoy intimate dinner parties with close friends the most. Which communication style do you find most effective in relationships? Open and honest communication is the most effective in relationships. Which event or celebration do you look forward to every year? I look forward to my birthday celebration every year.
Which dessert is your guilty pleasure? Chocolate lava cake is my guilty pleasure. Which fruit do you enjoy the most during summer? Watermelon is the fruit I enjoy the most during summer. Which type of cuisine do you prefer for a romantic dinner? I prefer French cuisine for a romantic dinner. Which kitchen appliance can you not do without? I cannot do without my blender in the kitchen. Which type of cheese is a must-have on your charcuterie board? Brie is a must-have on my charcuterie board. Which language do you plan to learn in the future? I plan to learn Spanish in the future. Which career milestone do you aspire to achieve next? I aspire to be promoted to a managerial role in the next two years. Which country would you like to retire in? I would like to retire in New Zealand for its natural beauty. Which new skill are you planning to develop in the coming months? I am planning to develop my photography skills in the coming months. Which cause or charity do you plan to support more actively? I plan to support environmental conservation causes more actively. Which type of exercise do you find most enjoyable? I find hiking to be the most enjoyable form of exercise. Which healthy snack is your go-to option? Almonds are my go-to healthy snack. Which wellness activity do you incorporate into your daily routine? Meditation is a wellness activity I incorporate into my daily routine. Which form of self-care do you prioritize during busy weeks? A relaxing bubble bath is a form of self-care I prioritize during busy weeks. Which outdoor activity do you find most rejuvenating? Cycling in the countryside is the outdoor activity I find most rejuvenating. Which book are you currently reading? I am currently reading The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Which movie genre do you prefer, action, drama, or comedy? I prefer drama movies because I enjoy thought-provoking storytelling. Which season is your favorite, spring, summer, fall, or winter? My favorite season is fall because of the cool weather and vibrant foliage. Which type of cuisine do you enjoy the most? I enjoy Italian cuisine the most for its rich flavors and variety. Which city would you love to visit next? I would love to visit Tokyo next for its unique blend of tradition and modernity. Which color do you find most calming? I find blue to be the most calming color. Which type of music relaxes you the most? Classical music relaxes me the most, especially pieces by Mozart. Which type of exercise do you prefer, running, swimming, or weightlifting? I prefer running for its simplicity and cardiovascular benefits. Which social media platform is your favorite for staying connected? My favorite social media platform for staying connected is Instagram. Which hobby do you find most fulfilling? Gardening is the hobby I find most fulfilling. It brings me joy and a sense of accomplishment. Which historical landmark would you like to visit? I would like to visit the Colosseum in Rome for its historical significance.
Which mode of transportation do you prefer for long journeys, car, train, or plane? I prefer traveling by plane for its speed and efficiency. Which natural wonder would you like to witness in person? I would like to witness the Northern Lights in person. Which type of accommodation do you prefer when traveling, hotel, Airbnb, or camping? I prefer staying in Airbnb accommodations for a more local experience. Which country's cuisine would you like to explore more? I would like to explore more of Indian cuisine for its diverse flavors. Which morning beverage is your go-to, coffee, tea, or juice? Coffee is my go-to morning beverage for a caffeine boost. Which type of smartphone do you currently use? I currently use an iPhone. Which form of entertainment do you enjoy on a lazy Sunday afternoon? I enjoy watching movies on a lazy Sunday afternoon. Which type of weather do you find most invigorating? I find a cool and crisp weather most invigorating. Which form of relaxation do you turn to after a stressful day? I turn to reading as a form of relaxation after a stressful day. Which skill do you consider most crucial in your profession? Critical thinking is the most crucial skill in my profession. Which project are you most proud of in your career? I am most proud of leading a successful team project last year. Which professional development opportunity do you plan to pursue next? I plan to attend a leadership seminar as my next professional development opportunity. Which work environment do you thrive in, collaborative or independent? I thrive in a collaborative work environment where ideas can be freely shared. Which industry conference do you look forward to attending? I look forward to attending the International Marketing Summit next month. Whose idea was it to organize the surprise party? It was Samantha's idea to organize the surprise party. Whose car is parked in front of the house? The car parked in front of the house belongs to Tom. Whose turn is it to choose the movie for movie night? It's Emily's turn to choose the movie for movie night. Whose dog is running around the neighborhood without a leash? The dog running around without a leash belongs to Mr. Johnson. Whose jacket was left behind at the restaurant last night? The jacket left behind at the restaurant belongs to Sarah. Whose wedding are you attending next month? I am attending my cousin's wedding next month. Whose phone is ringing on the kitchen counter? The phone ringing on the kitchen counter is my sister's. Whose advice do you trust the most when making important decisions? I trust my best friend's advice the most when making important decisions. Whose handwriting is on the note stuck to the refrigerator? The handwriting on the note stuck to the refrigerator belongs to mom. Whose car keys were found in the living room? The car keys found in the living room belong to my brother. Whose project is the team working on this quarter? The team is working on Emily's project this quarter. Whose proposal was accepted during the meeting? John's proposal was accepted during the meeting. Whose responsibility is it to organize the upcoming conference? It's Sarah's responsibility to organize the upcoming conference. 
whose report received positive feedback from the client. The report that received positive feedback from the client was written by Mike. Whose idea was implemented to improve the workflow in the office? The idea implemented to improve the workflow in the office was from the IT department. Whose birthday are we celebrating next week? We are celebrating Grandma's birthday next week. Whose house are we visiting for the family reunion? We are visiting Uncle Bob's house for the family reunion. Whose cat keeps visiting our backyard? The cat that keeps visiting our backyard belongs to our neighbor. Whose children are participating in the school play? Mary's children are participating in the school play. Whose wedding anniversary is coming up? It's our neighbor's wedding anniversary coming up. Whose laptop is on the desk in the study room? The laptop on the desk in the study room belongs to Dad. Whose bicycle is parked in the garage? The bicycle parked in the garage belongs to my younger sister. Whose backpack is this in the hallway? The backpack in the hallway belongs to Jack. Whose signature is on the bottom of the contract? The signature on the bottom of the contract is from the company's CEO. Whose painting is displayed in the living room? The painting displayed in the living room belongs to Aunt Carol. Whose suggestion should we consider for the team building activity? We should consider Emily's suggestion for the team building activity. Whose idea was it to change the company's logo? It was Mr. Johnson's idea to change the company's logo. Whose recommendation led to the successful partnership? The successful partnership was a result of Mike's recommendation. Whose opinion matters most in the decision-making process? In the decision-making process, the CEO's opinion matters most. Whose feedback should we incorporate into the final draft? We should incorporate Sarah's feedback into the final draft. Whose wedding invitation just arrived in the mail? The wedding invitation that just arrived in the mail is from my college friend, Lisa. Whose birthday gift are we still looking for? We are still looking for a birthday gift for Dad. Whose baby shower are we planning for next month? We are planning a baby shower for Sarah next month. Whose graduation ceremony are we attending this weekend? We are attending Mike's graduation ceremony this weekend. Whose retirement party is scheduled for next Friday? The retirement party scheduled for next Friday is for Mr. Anderson. Whose idea was it to organize a neighborhood cleanup? The idea to organize a neighborhood cleanup came from Mrs. Thompson. Whose initiative led to the installation of the new playground equipment? The installation of the new playground equipment was a result of the PTA's initiative. Whose garden is featured in the local gardening magazine? The garden featured in the local gardening magazine belongs to the Smith family. Whose proposal was accepted for the community beautification project? Emily's proposal was accepted for the community beautification project. Whose car is parked in the reserved spot in the community parking lot? The car parked in the reserved spot belongs to Mr. Johnson. Whose invention revolutionized the tech industry? Steve Jobs' invention revolutionized the tech industry with the introduction of the iPhone. Whose discovery led to a breakthrough in medical research? 
Dr. Smith's discovery led to a breakthrough in medical research. Whose theory is widely accepted in the field of physics? Einstein's theory of relativity is widely accepted in the field of physics. Whose recipe did you use to make this delicious cake? I used grandma's recipe to make this delicious cake. Whose advice should we follow to improve our productivity? Following the productivity tips from the management consultant can be beneficial. Whose innovation transformed the way we communicate? Alexander Graham Bell's innovation transformed the way we communicate with the invention of the telephone. Whose research laid the foundation for environmental conservation? Rachel Carson's research laid the foundation for environmental conservation with her work on pesticides. Whose leadership inspired positive change in the community? Martin Luther King Jr.'s leadership inspired positive change in the community during the civil rights movement. Whose art exhibition are you planning to visit this weekend? I am planning to visit Picasso's art exhibition this weekend. Whose performance are you looking forward to at the upcoming music festival? I am looking forward to Adele's performance at the upcoming music festival.